So when I was in Zambia, you benefited a lot. Even if many people fought me, men of God fought me, politicians fought me, PF made my life a living hell, you know, in a space of a uh, few minutes, I lost everything that I had. You know, I, I, didn't, I didn't hate the country. I love the country. And the one day, I will shock you. I will come in the country and, and, you know, bless the people of the country. Unfortunately, I'm not going to stay there again. In life, there is level. I've passed the level of staying there. I know the ministry that I did there. I know the ministry I did in South Africa, and I know the ministry I'm doing here. I passed the level of coming to stay with you again. But I, I'm going to visit. When I visit you, I pray for you. When I visit you, I share with you what I what I came with. Sometimes do as I say. I know I bless your country, and so on, and come back to my country. Uh, I'm so big now god has blessed me so much those of you that are here uh, you don't know who sia one is after this broadcast you, you go through uh, the page and see what god is doing here uh, i lost everything in zambia within a space of few 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 days but everything that I've lost, God has given back to me 20 times double. So I'm not, that's why I'm no longer angry with Edgar Lungu. Uh, I'm no longer angry with the PF. I'm no longer angry with anybody. I forgive everybody because that was actually a, a promotion. God used them actually to promote me from where I was to where I am today. Edgar Lungu is now a friend of mine, just like any other person. Uh, I don't have grudges with anybody. You will even be shocked when the time of campaign comes. I decide to campaign for Edgar Lungu. This is, uh, and this is politics. There is no permanent uh, enemy. There is no permanent friends. And this is who I am. When I, I started working with HH, HH was my enemy from 2015, 2016, 2017. All these years, he was my enemy. He couldn't even believe that I would stand up and support him. But it happened. You know, uh, I supported him. If you check today, most UPND press, a few UPND uh, press singers, the, you know, see one is this, see one is that, see one. This is politics. You don't have permanent enemy. You don't have permanent friends. A any moment from now, in few years' time, all of us will die, you know, and nobody wants to die being an enemy to anybody. That's why I'm not enemy to anyone, you know. I was enemy with Eddie Galung uh, because I was campaigning against him. And uh, if I decide to campaign for him, if I decide to work for him, because like I said, all these things that were said about, uh, about Eddie Galung, I am the one that engineered them. When you hear about corruption, corruption, Eddie Galung is corrupt. I am the one that engineered them. The, just like now, those days, there was no media that was, be, that was supporting HH. The only media that, that was with HH those days was Koswe. And, uh, and uh, what is the name of this one? Koswe and, uh, and, uh, and Watchdog. And you know they they didn't have that uh, they they didn't have that catalyst to push the agenda. I am the one that pushed the agenda that made uh, uh, Edgar Lungu look like Satan and so on and the corruption, all those things. I am the one. I was the engineer. I did all those things, and that is politics. So when 
I, you, many of you can't ah, see I want to say enemy to Edigalungu. Edigalungu realized his mistake. No, it was a mistake for whatever we did to you. Actually, PF realized their mistake before they won election. I told I told many of you, you know, PF realized their mistake before they won the election. They they came back to me and they said to me, look, see I want, we are sorry for what we did to you. We are willing to build you a, a, a cathedral in Zambia. That message came from uh, Mr. Anes Bruce. Anes Bruce is the owner of Port Belly Karahari. He's there in Zambia. If I'm lying, you can ask him. He is the one. No, see, I want now. All of us who have realized that we made a mistake, forgive us. We are bringing you back to Zambia. This is what we are going to do for you a cathedral and this. But by then, it was late already. One thing about me is that if I commit myself to something, once I commit myself to something, I don't go back. Nothing. If Jesus himself will never tell me to go back, I don't accept. Once I commit myself on something, I proceed. So by then, I had already committed myself to campaigning for HH. I proceeded. It was when they discovered that I proceeded that they involved the government of Nigeria. It was late already, you know. So we we became enemies. I remember while I was still in Zambia, my church was PF Church. My church was campaign ground. I, I showed you proof before. We are very good friends. They did a lot of good things for me. I'm not going to lie, you know. I'm not going to lie that I didn't benefit anything from PF. I can't lie. PF did a lot of good things for me. Uh, 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 when Sata was alive, Sata gave me the deal to bring in uh, 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 oil supplier that will supply oil from Angola to Zambia. Honorable Christopher Yaluma is, uh, is alive, is away. You can ask him. I link him up to our chairman in South Africa. They, everything went very, very well. In fact, let me tell you, PF was so good to me. But uh, along the line, uh, everything they promised to do for me, they did it. But along the line, you know, when you are a leader, there are so many people that uh, deceive you. You may be a very good person. You know, uh, like I always say, church is a very good guy. He's a very good man. Same as Edgar Lungu. These are very good guys. Before Edgar Lungu became a president, the, the guy was so humble. He was so accessible. He was, the day that Sata was being buried at Hero Stadium, he made so many of us cry. On the day of his campaign, I, I released the, my cars for his campaign and so on. But people who do not understand uh, the relationship, they came, they took over him. They started misleading him. They started misguiding him. Usually leaders are good. Leaders are good. But people that deceive them are people who they call their advisors are people who they call their ministers, are people who they call their, their what, this and that. You know, Edgar Lung was a very good guy, but he was deceived. When he was deceived, they told him, see, a one is this, see, a one will put our country on fire. See, one, that's how the deportation came. Where is the, where has it landed now same as hh hh is a very good guy i've i've i mean i've known him i've known him it's just that i don't want to talk about him now because politics has not started the reason why when you see me if i want to do when i want to do policy is at night i don't do politics during the day 
when I'm doing politics, it's a shut down show. You know, uh, the guy, he was a very good guy. Very, very good guy. Very humble. He was taking advice. You know, he was really, really advisable. But he took over power. As usual, there are people that have surrounded him now that are telling him to say for a whole president to open a toilet is commendable. And when people talk, no, how about PF? Eddie Galungu say I can also I can also commission I can also commission a, a toilet. <laughs> PF is the measuring uh, ruler now for UPN. So every nonsense that PF did, you must do it. Why did we remove them from power now? Why? What is the need? Why did we remove them? If you must compare, the reason why PF was removed is because they failed in one way or the other. So from their failure, when someone says ah, a, pre a whole president commissioned a toilet, PF did it. Where you voted because PF did it. <laughs> eh? So this is because the HH is a good guy, but he has surrounded himself with fools. Fools that don't know nothing. Fools that will die in jail. Fools that... Where are those guys that surrounded the Digalung? Those guys that surrounded the Digalung? I mean, Father Frank Wally. Eh? Where are they? Where is Frank Wally today? Is he not with HH? The same parasite have left where they were eating before they have joined UPN and they are busy destroying UPN. A whole president, not even a district commissioner will commission a toilet. A whole president went and commissioned a toilet. And when people talk, ah, but PF did it. I was even reading on uh, on uh, ZNBC today. They are talking about inflation in Nigeria. So that people will come and say, ah, but see, I want your country is this, your country is that. But you are not talking about your country, you talk about Zambia. A whole national broadcast. Hmm? Here, in, uh, here in Nigeria, there, they, don't, not, they don't even know what a ZNBC is. They, they don't know that there is a country. Z NTA, Nigeria National Television Authority, don't know that there is a country called Zambia. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that is also to show you how powerful I am, how influential I am there. All those things you write about Nigeria, you write it because of me. A whole national broadcaster has become a disaster, a playground. So if I decide to attack a church, if I decide to fight a church, who is going to wage the war? who is capable of waging the war uh, at least for pf those guys who were so so sophisticated smarting was so sophisticated uh, 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 there were too many even uh, Mwebantu was with them they were so sophisticated they could counter things that i say so if I decide now and say, okay, we are all out for HH, who is going to fight back? When I when I come out with an exposure, you post that, uh, uh, how about Nigeria? <laughs> you were not elected to compare yourself to Nigeria. You were elected to change the life of the people. It was very wrong for a whole president to commission toilet even if it was one million toilets you compare yourself to nigeria i mean you nigeria by the way nigeria is suffering have you been to nigeria please <laughs> nigeria nigeria do projects of uh, nigeria do projects of billions of dollars not millions just here in Imo State, my state, our GDP is bigger than the entire GDP of 
of, uh, of, of Zambia. And you are comparing. I, we don't compare these things. I, that's why you don't see me compare these things. All of us loved her church and wanted, uh, we wanted him to succeed. Personally to me, I had an agenda of at least 50 years of UPND because I know that any day that HH leaves office, that guy, that guy, that guy is finished. I know. Any day he leaves office, whether in 2026, 20, 2030, 20, 20, 20, that will be the last day he will experience life. I know. And I didn't want that to happen to him. I don't want that to happen to him. My project for UPND was 50 years project. So that by the time that uh, UPND would have left power, HH would have been in his 90s, working with a walking stick. What will you do to a man that is working with a walking stick? <laughs> but because of his, the people that are advising him, the people that surround him, he shortened his stay. He will be fought. I will fight him and I will defeat him. It's not even a... It's not even a... a it's not even a... Me and you can argue here. The few press singers that are remaining, we can argue here. But when the time comes, you will dance the dance that PF we are dancing. And the reason why I want him defeated is not just because of him. He has surrounded himself with criminals, with thieves, with looters. A few days ago, we had a, a news that uh, Milungolungu has agreed to forfeit 24 million US dollars. And uh, because of that, he will not go to jail. And many of you are clapping. You don't know the details of those deals. I am going to tell you that I know the guys from State House that went and entered that agreement with Milungolungu. I know how much they, they have received. I know how much HH has received. This, that's why when you are playing with the devil, give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar and give to God what belongs to God. Then you will live long. But if you think that you are clever, you won't live long. If I come here and share, to, and share with the nation exactly what happened, the people that went and sat with Milingolungu, how much they received from State House. Many of the, that's why Edgar Lungu was a very clean man until I came and started telling people, okay, check here. And check here. That's what they are going to do to a church. There is a lot of dirty thing that is going on. Dirty, the day I will come and say it has started, 